Welcome back to Tar Heel Illustrated.com. And if you're watching us on our rapidly growing YouTube channel, that is called Tar Heel Illustrated. I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones. And joining me is our director of football recruiting, Dina King. And Dana, we continue here on uh, National Signing Day, North Carolina football's class of 2022. Signatures are rolling in on signed letters of intent. The most recent Tar Heel to send his in is Justin Kanyak a three-star offensive tackle from Bethlehem Catholic High School in Pennsylvania. He's the number 22 overall prospect in Pennsylvania, which has churned out a fair amount of big-time players in the past. He is a huge young man with a big frame that will be added on to when he arrives, six foot seven, 290 pounds. He committed on June 27th. He's someone that showed up. Uh, when they when they finally opened up the live recruiting period and kids could visit, he was there fairly early in June. Stacy Searles and Mac Brown and Phil Longo looked at him and were like, yeah, we like this kid. So they offered, and it wasn't that much longer when Justin Kenyon said, you know what, I'm going to be a Tar Heel. And here he is six months later signing his letter of intent. So what are your thoughts about Justin Kenyon sending in his, his LOI? Yeah, he, he – Benefit benefited from that. He decided that he was going to come south and take some visits and see some campuses. And he come down. He he got offered uh, uh, Vir- uh, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, a few other schools on his uh, southern tour. But he worked out for uh, Coach Searles and earned an offer. And you know, he, he it must have. Uh, really grew on him because when he got back to uh, Pennsylvania, it didn't take long for him to to commit to UNC. Uh, High praise for the staff, high praise for Coach Searles. And I think this was a case where, and were there a lot of examples of this, where a lot of kids in the COVID year just weren't seen. And think about it, he's a senior now. So this was coming off of what would have been his junior, or what was his junior year, but a lot of kids weren't seen. So, from his sophomore year to the summer before his senior year, high school kids could change. A lot of dudes could change big time, especially as they grow into their bodies if they're pretty big when they're sophomores. So he's a guy not a lot of people knew about. And that's why Carolina taking full advantage of in-person stuff by seeing him right there, getting to see him. You know, when we do, when we cover these camps that these kids go to, and I know he wasn't at a specific camp, but when we cover these camps, um, and when we report on these kids, it's important that the staff gets to see these kids firsthand because there is nothing that replaces first-hand evaluation, in-person evaluation, uh, than, than film. Film is great, but it doesn't do the same thing. So here's a kid that maybe they would have been on to a year earlier if there wasn't COVID. But they got on him and they sold themselves to him. He was really enamored by everything about the place, the campus, the, the the gear, the colors, the brand, uh, the culture, the 40 year decision. When we talked to him about the reasons why everything, you know, he, he bought everything so quickly with UNC. It wasn't just one or two things. It was all encompassing. Yeah, and, you know, Pennsylvania, the area that he's from, I mean, you, you know, Pennsylvania's always had some good football players to come out of there and, uh, you know, he, he, he's a big, tough lineman. And sometimes uh, you just need a big, tough fella up there in front. And, you know, Carolina, they, they, they're they getting three linemen with with Zach Rice, Travion Green, and, and Justin Kanyak. And, I mean, you, you, you got to replenish a line that they, they, they need some replenishing, build depth. Um, him and Green, I believe may take longer to get in the rotation, but that's, that's, that's okay. They got plenty of time uh, to get into the, the college regiment, getting train weight training, nutrition, build their strength up. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And offensive line is a position group in which there's a lot of attrition uh, for a variety of reasons. There's also a position group where it's not a huge surprise to see Maybe a kid that comes in flying under the radar really flourish when they get there and leap over some of the more higher profile kids uh, from the recruiting trail. So not saying Justin Kane is going to do that, but that's why you bring in six foot seven, 290 pound kids like him and six foot seven kids like Trevion Green, coach them up. 
They got the bodies, got the mentality, and, and see what happens. So uh, Justin Kenya, three-star offensive tackle from Bethlehem Catholic in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. He is the latest member of UNC's class of 22 to send in his signed letter of intent. We will continue to discuss each one of these kids as their LOIs arrive in Chapel Hill. She's Dana King. I'm AJ. No pets on this podcast like some of the others. So you guys were spared the zoo. Thanks for stopping by.